welcome to Vikings War of Clans with me. Um, yeah, who am I? Well, I'm in my alt today. And yes, I know it's been ages since I did any videos, but it all went tits up and got bullied out of my kingdom and it all went very nasty. As things often do in Vikings, you meet some wonderful people and you meet some people you think are wonderful and they turn out to be right shitbags. Anyway, <laughs> the reason I feel the need to do this one on an alt is I am going to go to that place I love so well. Uh, you know where it is, it's just here. And I'm doing this for you guys, so I'll show you why in a minute. Let's go in. <sighs> okay, here we go. So, not much has changed, um, apart from on this alt, we have now reached level 48 champion. Whee! We've got the gear to 48. Um, no Beowulf's helmet, of course even though he's been working really hard to try and get it, it hasn't happened. Um, so we've got the Ghostly Veil, Bewitched Breastplate, Spellbound Flail, should all look familiar to you, Northern Bulwark, the Enchanted Trim, and the Durable Boots, which is about the best gear you can get for this level of champion. Now, as usual, I'm using... Um, the champion here which is Viva okay and so this is the setup I recommend for Viva and this is the one I've had the most um, success with but only after that intolerably long boring time that we all have to go through to uh, appease the people who develop the game called Vikings War of Clans namely Plarium who do like us to click and I have my suspicions as to why we have to click so much. I think they get paper click or something <laughs> from some sadist somewhere. Make them click more. Make them click more and I'll pay you more. It's the only reason I can think that they make us do so much clicking. Anyway, um, so there's nothing I can get that will be better um, for her at the moment. That's the maximum thing she can have on her head. Uh, maximum things you can have on her to protect her chest. Uh, maximum weapons she can have at the moment. Maximum uh, belt that she can wear. And the best boots. I believe that's basically as good as it gets for Viva. Let me just check I'm right. Yeah, 46. I don't know, I got a bit excited then. Oh no, 47, yeah. <laughs> and some of this gear is actually as at its maximum. It won't get any better. So I've been working my way through all these horrible... Uh, oh gosh, yeah, okay. Um, of course there was a reset, so you'll have to take my word for it. I've been working my way through the floors. Got to floor 10, as many people do. And... On came the brakes. So I managed to get to five and I've been auto modding uh, so she gets to 48 just on five because six and seven are beyond her grasp. Now um, I'll speed this bit up maybe um, because it's turgidly boring um, but as you know I've got a document that gives me the way around these places with anybody who asks but you can find them on Vikings Help that gives you the map and what it's like beasts and where to find them kind of thing where to find the bosses and it's all a bit random they might be there they might not but there's only about three or four places you might find them so you head your way around the map so I'm going to go to my copy of the map Helheim the Heim that is Heli the hell that keeps giving I'm on floor 10 node 6 now keep your own notes anyway because I do sometimes think some of this is a bit random. Okay, so we'll be meeting Harold the Beast by the looks of it. <laughs> and we'll be starting down at the bottom. So I'm going to go through this part and then I'll try and fiddle around and speed up this so you can just see it 
this is how she behaves at the moment. Now, if this passes, I'll scream. But anyway, let's see. Um, I'm going to do it manually. Can't do it on auto because she hasn't cleared this yet. Uh, so why do I talk about my champion in the third person? She, <laughs> he. I do that with my other accounts as well. I have he's and she's. I don't know why. They're all it. It's all me, really. But um, yeah, a bit schizo. So let's see. And what I might do is mute my mic now, because if I fast forward it with the mic on, it's going to go. So let me mute the mic and then we'll fast forward through this bit. Now, on previous iterations of this floor, I did manage to do it with Champ 47, starting with energy of 58,459. But, as I say, I've been blocked on this one. Maybe it's because she's only got the ghostly helmet, um, ghostly veil. But, yeah, um, it's it's all a bit much. So, uh, that's why I'm using this as a, yeah, a way to show it. I do have a suspicion that everything got buffed in Helheim once all the um, favourites got and managed to get theirs. <laughs> it might be me being paranoid. I'll be honest with you, this is actually my favourite floor because it's basically there's three parts where you might find the boss and it's nice and straightforward. It doesn't send you around the Reiki up here, down there, back here. It's a nice straight um, logical line. So go straight up the middle, go left, go right, whichever, and you'll find the boss in one of those three places. And they're quite close together, which is nice. The other floors, the other nodes aren't that nice sometimes. <laughs> I do moan a lot, don't I? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to finish the floor, or should I not? No, I'm going to finish the floor, um, just so we can make a direct comparison later. And that's when my little secret will be out, I hope. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, so it might all go terrible or wrong. Okay, so there we have it. I'm not going to complete this floor, even though it did start out quite well. I even had a couple of greys, which are dead easy, but even they were able to smush poor little Viva a bit around. So, so now, you know, even though she's at champ 48, she's not getting through. Um, so thanks, Floria. Yeah, because it's so, so much fun doing this. I mean, thank you for extending it so that you can spend even more time down here instead of actually playing the game. Well done.
touch of sarcasm there. So we're nearly done with this. And then we get to the exciting bit. But I fast forwarded this for you. If you just remember, I sat through this in real time. Mm -hmm. I sat through this in real time just for you. And I'm not even a streamer. So there's nothing in this for me apart from I felt obliged. <laughs> I'll tell you why in a bit. OK, so there you have it. Node explored. Two stars at level 48. Completed past the node, but not completed it. You need three stars. So back to the floor and the reason for us being here. So st she's still 48 at 57. Four, five, three, uh, which is actually less energy than the other one. Hmm, strange. Okay, let's see. But and if you're new to the game, ish, or you can't be completely new to the game. You've got to be, I think, level ten now to do this some um, wonderful stuff. Um, it is worth completing these floors because you do need that Hellheim fire. Uh, if you want to upgrade gear later, you need that Hellheim fire. So you might as well complete every floor. You got halfway through, keep going till it chucks you out or you finish it with two stars or one star or whatever star um, just to get the Hellheim fire. And if you think you've got enough Hellheim fire, think again. Can't have enough Hellheim fire. And what's coming? You're going to need more Hellheim fire. So just keep doing it. Uh, auto it when you can. Uh, when you're finished, you just run autos every day, go in there, do a few, get that Hellheim fire level up, and then spaff it all on more fuckwittery from Plarium as they steal it back. <laughs> oh yeah, they will. You wait till you start upgrading gear, fail after fail after fail. Each one getting more and more expensive, each failure failing more. I had two yesterday at level nine amulets, of course. Took the lot. Stole all the materials. Stole all the health and fire. Oh. OK, so the idea of getting through all this, why do we do it when we hate it so? And I don't know many people who love it. Even the one that used to love it seems to have stopped playing, so... If he's still around, I apologise, but as far as I know, stop playing. The reason we do it is you go into these buildings and you look at the statistics and you will find um, that you get stuff for each building. You get nice, um, you get nice statistics for each building. Okay. So battle statistics, fighting statistics that you cannot ignore, even though you might want to. OK, so here we have under information for the Helheim store, you get lots of stuff. OK, and each level you can see for the next level, you're going to get more stuff. OK, so when you finished um, to level 11, which is the highest you can go, then you're going to get even more buffed than you were okay so each of these buildings is at level 10 they need to be at level 11 to get the juicy stuff okay and you can't ignore it so you're adding to your scout defense your melee defense your killer defense your range defense and each building will do extra stuff so this one ranged killer siege if you siege so really, you can't ignore it. To me, it's like getting um, a rather tedious town skin upgraded. One of the most tedious town skins, apart from those ones that make you do the um, weekly, monthly <laughs> quests. I think they're pretty tedious too. Oh, tedium, thy name is Clarion. OK, so why are we here? Well, you've just seen me fail on that node with a level 48 champion, with the best gear she can wear. And um, with this here, which is really weird, the statistics were definitely uh, nerfed when uh, Plarium 
I never noticed that before. I didn't pay that much attention, but it really looks like it. Start energy was much more um, before with champion 48. I had 58, 459. As I say, it might be the Beowulf's helmet, but I can't be bothered to go and check. So what can you do to make it more, less likely to fail and more likely to succeed? Well, there's one thing you can do. And it's probably the most stupid thing. You're all going to scream at me now. Don't do it. But please remember this is an alt. And I have said to people who've asked me, it depends how much you value your sanity. And it depends how much you enjoy being in Helheim. Some people find it therapeutic. One, pe one person in one of the videos, if you, know, if you remember, said it was like knitting. <laughs> but I don't knit. Okay. So let's go into the town. And let's go into the events and go to the seasonal store. Now, I would have done this last week. I actually, last month, I was ready to do this, but it wasn't there. Because in the seasonal store, you will find this sword. Okay. It's Solbane. You can only use it at Champions level 48. So I waited until my alt was at 48. And you can only wear it on the white hand. And if you look at the stats, it's better than anything you can buy in the... You cannot buy this in Helheim. Trust me. Okay, let's just go back. I'll prove it. It's a weapon for the right hand, remember? So we go to the little shop, we find the items. Oh, hang on, wrong shop. <laughs> we find the items and it's weapons. Let me go down a bit so you can see weapons. And it's the weapon for the right hand, which at the moment you could do any of these. Dark Blade, Shard of Darkness, Spellbound Flail, which is what she's got. And that's it, then it's down to 34. So there is no... Yeah, that sword is not here. You can't get it in Helheim itself. So what you have to do, and for an alt this is really painful, you have to get five million shards, runic coins, sorry, five million runic coins saved. So this has taken rather a long time and um, to get it to 48 and then to get the runic coins together on an alt. So this was a special effort to get these runic coins. It's 5,737,810, which is enough to buy this beast. Okay, now I have never bought it before. I don't know what's going to happen now, but here we go. Ouch, there we go. We now have Solbane. <laughs> And I'm going to go back into Helheim. Okay. Helheim, the Heim of Tiselli. So then we go to our champion and we go to her right hand and there it is. So you equip the champion. Oh, I haven't done it. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, it worked. So you equip the champion. Um, I'll just show you here in case you miss it that button there you equip the champion you do not dismantle it ever <laughs> i don't think you ever want to dismantle this one because it just cost you five million okay we'll see how it goes with this so let's see how good this damn thing is it just cost me five million runic coins it better be damn good be like the porsche of right hand <laughs> why have i done this well one i want to see if it actually works and two somebody got it they can't wear it yet because their champion's not at that level. Please, Florium, at least pe let people wear it at 45. Even if they can't finish Helheim at 45, let them at least wear it and try it out at 45 and get through these damn things a bit quicker. Making it level 48 um, is, well, it's just mean. <laughs> anyway, we've got that on the right hand. Health, damage, critical hit chance, enemy dot. It's got good stats compared with... What I was wearing, the Spellbound Flail, which was, it's like 10 times nearly. Um, three times damage, 
uh, twice the critical hit. You've got enemy dodge chance decrease, which doesn't exist on this one. You've got champion strength and intuition, which is good. I'm not sure about the strength bit, but that's gone up. Okay, so she's now wearing that. Let's go back. Oh, let me just check her um, stats. Okay, she's now gone up to 84,137. Remember, it was at 37,000 before. So she's got a lot more oomph. Uh, she isn't always great. Now, you could um, reset to change the um, stat points, but she's got no more stat points, okay? She's got 3035, 4938309526. Hmm. Okay. I'll just keep it at this, and if it fails, I'll reset um, to make this um, 211. auto battle because I can. Let's see if these guys are tougher on her. With Solbane. So far so good. Green. Not lost anything yet. Going through it. Poor little bugger. He hasn't dealt a deadly blow yet. Oh, maybe I'll keep this slow. This is fun. There are no guarantees in this game. Oh, blue one. These are tough. These guys are tougher. Did we get a blue one in the last one? Can't remember. Okay, still not touched me. Not a scratch. Not a scratch. Wow. Okay. Keep going. Now, they're saying that the boss will be in the same place um, as before, but we're going to do the same route, straight up, then left or right, um, depending on what we meet. And still no damage done to my champion. I must be getting sneaky, snacky, sneaky, snacky with that blade. Blimey heck. Okay, straight up, as we did last time. I mean, my my route is always the quickest routes to any of the bosses because I always think you've got a better chance of killing the boss if you've got extra energy. If you go the long way around, you've got less. Oh, oh, he just got her. He just got her. Which one was that? Oh, okay. Well, keep going. But compared with last time, I think you'll agree that damage is... Far less. <laughs> She's dodging a lot. Ah, okay. A little bit of damage there. No, she's not completely invincible. Shame. I, I, I really don't mind if I just go through and don't actually get any damage. Honestly, you just want to finish it. This isn't fun, Florium. Nobody's having fun down here. There was that one guy. But as far as I know, he's given up the game now. So... He's probably upset that you didn't um, put more floors in, but thank you for not doing that. Please don't do it. Okay, so didn't actually meet the boss. So after this one, but it, I think the the damage is much greater. So we're actually going through these little beasties much faster, which is good. I didn't work out what the half percent would, 50% uh, of this would be. About 40,000, wouldn't it? So we don't want to go under 40,000 here. Or 42,000, maybe. Smash the buggers. <laughs> You're all jealous now, aren't you? Let's see. It could still go terribly wrong.
girl beater. Okay, so definitely getting more damage done to him much faster. And you'll notice I'm not doing this manually, manually. I'm sure I'd get better results if I did. Uh, but honestly, <laughs> my my willingness to click left chest, arm, stomach, legs, when it always seems so absolutely random, it wore out a long time ago. So we have past node six, continue exploration. We've still got 78,000 um, of the energy. So let's keep going. We'll go around this way this time. Okay. If I get that Beowulf's helmet, I'm going to scream, by the way. That would be just the sort of thing Marion would do, isn't it? Like you spend five million rainy coins and then give you a helmet that would have helped you. Anyway, we'll see. Still going, still pretty high, high up. These guys seem to be much, much weaker. Oh, okay. Spoke too soon. <laughs> it took a nibble out of her. Okay, let's keep going. Claim, go down and then across. Some, oh, little grey one. These are really, if this one does any damage. Oh, look, it makes no sense. It's grey. Honestly, their random number generator is just pants. I mean, maybe she's just got a lucky hit in, but really? Grey one? Doing more damage than the green one. <laughs> there is no logic to it. Plari logic. Oh, she's back. She liked that. <laughs> Sorry, being silly. Okay. So we're nearly done, honest. We've just got to do the left hand side now. Scoot across. Done this one already. Oh, remember, you can always see where you've been. If you lose yourself but I've done these so often I don't tend to get lost anymore oh come on just give me some empty ones please okay it's still pretty high unless these last few are gonna just as <laughs> has happened as you know you think oh, I'm nearly there I'm nearly there and then suddenly the next one is like smash 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 you lose every single point you've got and you just think oh god it's it's programmed for failure. <laughs> I've never known a game like it. <laughs> to program for failure. You're meant to be making us feel good about ourselves. Ah oh dear. Okay. There we go. And remember, you don't have to watch all of this. You can fast forward these videos anyway. Oh, Megan is posting. I get these notifications. I always forget to switch the notifications off when I do these, but I have got system sounds switched off, which is nice of me, because otherwise you'd be getting the notifications. You'd be going, oh, notification. Oh, it's not me. <laughs> it's the video. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Keep on going. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Still pretty high on that. I have good, I have excellent hopes for the final mode. I really do. And I will be doing the final node. Don't go anywhere. <clears throat> I am living through this in real time. I cannot fast forward my life. In fact, playing this, it's like my life. Is it going to give me an earth? Oh, it's going to make me stay till the bitter end. Oh, look, this is where it takes all the energy. Look, you see what I mean? All of a sudden, that final one, when you think you've won, it's going to take all your energy and spit you out with two stars. Now, I don't think it will. And if it does, I'm going to ask for my runic coins back. <laughs> What's the chance, do you think? OK, there we go. Claim the reward and the victory. Node explored. Three stars. Yay! Back up to 84137. Okay, so I'm just going to write this down. Jam 48, start energy. Because I didn't do that before. One, three, uh, one, three, seven, three, one, seven. Silly me. Three stars. And I will add onto the list. Um, K. 
Okay. So just do the work out how much it is. Eight four one three seven divided by two. So we can get down to forty two four hundred no forty two thousand and still survive. But I will add here um God what's the what's the damn thing called? Soul bane. Put in, oh, hang on. So, pain, and then brackets 48, uh, because some people do use this, believe it or not. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it will give them a, a clue about what they can do. Okay, so we have completed that node. Um, because we did it, I'm not going to read. Um, we do her stats. Let's see how she does on this one. So I'm going to go into my node 10, uh, node 7 map. Oh, not node 10, don't give them ideas. So the node 7 map, which is here, and you can see it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, it's more like a step, step, step. And what I tend to do, um, I always work out which is the shortest way. So there's four to that one, four to that one, four to that one. So best way, I think, is up here, then down there. OK, so I'm going to go straight up, then down, cross, down, in. And I should meet the boss somewhere here. Okay, and he didn't do much damage. Legionary of the Dead, what is he? Oh, he's a melee. Okay, I don't think I don't know if it makes any odds. Okay, up again, faceless horror. They're normally a bit tougher than scouts. So let's see if he can do more damage. Oh, yeah, he's doing more damage. Okay, remember, we're looking for nothing lower. Um, what was it? 42,000, wasn't it? If I get lower than 42,000, I'll cry. Because it means I'll have to redo the stats. Okay. But I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful that we're just going to smosh this without any nonsense. Ooh, there's that number. Just try and spot how often 666 turns up in the game. <laughs> Very suspicious. I do have to wonder sometimes at the programmers what their agenda is. Because it's certainly not to entertain when they're doing stuff like this. And if you're watching this purely by accident, you think, oh, that looks fun. Trust me, 99th time, no fun. First time was quite exciting. 99th time, not so much. And I don't even know, I don't think how often I've done this. I really don't, because I'm never going to get those minutes back. They're gone forever. And nobody forced me to do it. Oh, we got the boss straight up. Yay. Uh, pure luck. I mean, honestly, it's a lottery as to where the boss, where you'll find the boss. Now, let's see how much damage. Oh, boy, she's ugly. <laughs> how much damage she does. Mana the Oppressor. Hmm. Might want to rethink that name. So, not too bad so far. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, when she hits, she hits hard. So, we're still looking at 42,000. Keep thinking, don't go under 42,000, Lynn, under 42,000. Mm. Now, luckily, most of my um, playmates, as I like to call them, <laughs> have got this already done. But there are a couple 
who haven't and one of them has got this soul bane actually waiting for when his champion gets to 48. We have a little chat every so often even though we're not in the same kingdom anymore. I find it very difficult to let people go. Um, we have a little chat and I give him advice and help him out which way round to go and it doesn't help he speaks no English whatsoever and I, I really admire anybody who plays this game who doesn't speak Russian or English because the help oof, really not there and you're more likely to find French and Spanish speakers than Italians so Germans maybe Italians and any other language who it seems to be quite rare on help hey if you're a, if you want to be a streamer and you speak Italian there's definitely a niche there <laughs> and streamers seem to get all the goodies I and mean, they really do get some yummy stuff but it's all a bit dodgy <laughs> to me yeah have have Sisyphus oh thank you very much I mean I wouldn't say no but um I should and when they give you long lived as a prize What's the point of long lived if you're going to get it as a prize? And this Sisyphus and long lived are two of the things that can hold people back a bit, and everybody's on the same wavelength. There's no way to game it until you get it given in a competition or you get it given for being a streamer. And then suddenly you've got people who've got the whole of the lot done, and everybody else has been struggling doing those stupid quests or making themselves logged in for like 24 7 to try and get long lived <laughs> and it's just given away Phew. dodgy very sus very sus sussy vikings anyway I mean they don't do I'll give them that they don't do king of the north or well, the top warrior one um, which I guess yeah is fair people have often spent a ton of money and time getting those i don't have them either of oh look 65 we're getting lower <laughs> weak, weak, weak. so exciting <clears throat> maybe not oh no maybe maybe not resetting her stats was not such a good idea <laughs> we will see So how far have we got? We haven't got very far, you know. We have not got very far. This is not looking good. What a stupid bloody soul bane sword. Okay. Maybe Flower have realised I'm recording this and they're going, ah, we'll teach you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So what I might have to do is redo this video. <laughs> So, I'm not on commission for Solvane, so I won't bother. But it's it's a warning, isn't it? It's a warning, a salutary warning. That Solvane doesn't look like it's the answer. Okay, fifty four. I've got till forty two. These guys are smushing me. Mm. That means I've got 11,000 to lose and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 more. Oh look, it's so close now. 
999 call the emergency services Okay, if this doesn't work, I'll put this video up as a salutary lesson to everybody. I'll have to apologise to everybody I've said, well, you know, if it helps you get through Helheim, I'd get it. It's just an expensive town skin. <clears throat> mm. Oh boy. Can we get some greys and greens in here? Unless a few of these, fewer of these blues things and look at him he's got two weapons oh no maybe they're just teasing me oh boy not one e oh I was about to say not one empty room there's one <laughs> not one silk chest Ugh, don't really need them, but there you go. Oh no. Have you heard a grown woman cry? Actually, it doesn't matter, this is only an alt. <laughs> it's only an alt, it's only an alt. Keep telling that yourself. Doesn't matter, it's only an alt. This is purely. Oh, got a chest. Okay. Okay, this isn't the last node by the oh that was an empty one. Oh gosh my heart is beating now maybe this is exciting today okay this is the last one I think let's have a look we've gone all the way around all the way up all the way through all the way down okay this is the last room give it a chest oh look I, I bet you I'll bet you anything it's just gonna smosh the shit out of me <laughs> sorry excuse me <laughs> it's just gonna go i take your soul bane sword and i spit on it <laughs> oh my god you absolute beasts plarium i hate you look at that it's just that last hit is gonna be you're dead <gasps> jeez okay that was too much. Okay, maybe my fault. I didn't reset our stats. Don't know what change that might have made, but there you go. It has worked. It is now complete. Helheim, floor 10, node 7, done, tick. Thank God. I am never going to do this again, okay? This is your video to show you it does work, but there's no guarantee. You saw that was very close. Now, whether that's deliberate, just to make it a bit more exciting, I don't know. Uh, but it was exciting enough for me because I just spent five million rudy coins <laughs> on an alt. They took me a long time to get, I tell you. Anyway, um, I hope this helps in your decision making process. The thing is, people are still getting Node 7. Um, they are still completing it on this luck, but it takes a long time or a lot of luck. And I don't think luck should be that heavily involved in any game of strategy but never mind I suppose yeah a lucky break um, you might get it if you don't spend the coins you've just seen if you do spend the coins you're more likely to get it um, so <laughs> to my little friend Stralik there is hope you just got to get your champion up to 48 then you can be done with the torture it does work. I'm going to send you the link to the video so you can watch and laugh at me as I actually got excited in Helheim for the first time in... When did Helheim come out? <laughs> okay, I am signing off now. Boy! These mortals have awakened the gods of old. We rise from our slum.
Strike. 